Happy New Year! From being James Bond, how are you? Uh, I am, as always, your good friend, Joseph Darlington, head of section. And I just wanted to reach out and say Happy New Year. I'm going to keep this nice and short. I got two videos coming out uh, to sort of celebrate New Year's. Uh, one is a cocktail video that I did with my friends over at the James Bond and Friends podcast. Uh, we did a little experiment where we all sort of contributed a cocktail video. Uh, I had fun with it. I experimented a little bit with... Um, you know, camera trickery, and uh, I think it came out pretty cool. So check that out. Uh, that'll be out tomorrow for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. David Zeritsky and I are collaborating as we always do, and we talked about the year. Uh, we look back at 2019, the highlights of the year, um, and we look forward to 2020 and all the things that are coming. Uh, what we can expect from this year. Uh, I mean, it's going to be a, a tremendous year. Uh, obviously, the film is coming out, which we've been jonesing for for many years. Uh, so now that it's here, you know, uh, what's that going to be like? And what is life going to be like after uh, No Time to Die? Uh, what do we do? We get back to, well, we get back to being James Bond stuff. Uh, but again, I won't uh, elaborate too much because the video will be out on New Year's Day. Uh, check that out. Uh, we had a lot of fun doing it. The intro is particularly funny, so check it out. Uh, but again, I just wanted to kind of kick back and reflect, and, and you know, it's been a pretty wild year for being James Bond in particular. Um, I feel like I cranked out more content this year than any year prior. I feel pretty confident that that's true. Uh, when I look at my uh, the stream of uh, podcasts, that I did just this year. Um, I mean, I, I think I put out average one a week, um, if not more. And I, I can recall, you know, the early days of the podcast when I would sometimes struggle to get out one a month. You know, um, I think I, I, I did a good thing this year by um, kind of zeroing in on what I wanted to do, and I did it. Uh, the... The podcast has been great. First of all, the podcast has been supplemented by all the things I did in my new YouTube channel. Uh, I really only started doing YouTube in the last two years, maybe three. Uh, I think I dabbled and I kind of got a little more serious with it. But this uh, series that I did with Scott, the, um, the review series that we are in the middle of still, uh, has gotten it's a great response, a tremendous response. Uh, I hit 1,000 subscribers back in July. I think it took about three months to get up to 2,000. So I doubled it in a very short amount of time. And I'm, I'm already up to, I think, like 25, 2,600 now. Um, so it's going to hit three pretty soon. So yeah, I couldn't be happier with that. So the YouTube channel is going strong. The YouTube channel obviously um the material went into the podcast but i also wanted to make sure to do something that was special for the podcast uh not just um you know a, a double of what i'm doing on youtube so i started doing interviews this year and that really has been tremendous i i got a great response from that so i'm really happy with those uh i was very lucky in the people who spoke with me um and it's going to keep going strong all the way through until, um, you know, at least until the movie comes out. That's the plan. Um, and he, he, as a funny little side note, I also said, well, I'm also on Instagram, so what am I going to do there? So I did a couple, um, what do you call it, throwback Thursdays. That was my way of saying, all right, well, I'll do something on there too. So I'm trying to get all my social media outlets, you know, pretty, you know, pretty filled with content. So, yeah, it's, it's worked out pretty well. I have to say, I'm, I'm very happy with that. Um, on a personal level, I really couldn't be happier. I, I, I'm really happy and excited with how life is these days. I feel like around this time, you know, everyone sort of says, you know, when, when New Year's comes around, most of the memes you see on uh, Facebook or most of, most of the comments is, good riddance this year. What a rotten year. Can't wait for the next one. Bring it on. Uh, I can't say that about this year. This year has really been incredible for me, um, both in terms of being James Bond, um, but in my personal life as well. And actually, as I'm saying that, I'm realizing, but you know, the two were always intertwined. I mean, the whole reason being James Bond came about 
was because I was trying to sort of, you know, emulate uh, the way James Bond lives, uh, incorporate some of the great adventures that he has. And that has certainly been my life this year. Uh, again, the travel opportunities I've had were amazing. Uh, the friends I was able to meet, I have, I mean, I had friends prior to, to this year and I was able to meet them again and spend time with them. And, you know, I had, so I, so the opportunities with my friends have been strengthened. I've also had incredible opportunities to meet new people. Um, and sometimes meet new people really means, you know, the guy who I've been talking to forever on Instagram, now we got a chance to meet in the flesh and it's like, dude, I'm that same guy you've been talking to. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, it's so honestly in that respect, um, the friendships that I've made and cultivated this year has really just been amazing. Uh, I could not be happier in that respect. And then of course, you know, uh, friends, family, my relationships at home are, are terrific. My girlfriend and I couldn't be doing better. Um, and career wise, I've had a nice, um, things are going well in that respect. I'm very happy with where I am there. Um, and you know, just frankly, couldn't be thrilled looking forward to the new year. Uh, I won't say too much about that, but you get the idea. Uh, so yeah, I just all in all, I'm very, I have a lot of gratitude for the year uh, behind me and very excited for the year to come. It's, it's um, again, la last year was so good, it's gonna be tough to beat. But with that in mind, I'm gonna give it a shot this year. Um, like I said, I mean, we have a movie to look forward to. So London will be coming up. Uh, I'll be meeting some Bond friends in Toronto at the end of February. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, so again, I'm looking forward to another year of good things in 2020. Um, and again, I just want to say Happy New Year and thank you. Thank you for being a part of it. Because again, if you're watching this, then you are part of uh, how this all works. And you know, I wouldn't be where I am right now, as happy as I am, as satisfied as, as I am, and having as much fun as I am, if you weren't part of it. So I'll leave it there. Again, uh, watch for a cocktail video on New Year's Eve, and uh, watch for David Zeritsky and I for a two-parter, uh, talking about the year in uh, the year that's behind us. What, how do you call it? The year, year in review, okay? And, uh, and looking forward to 2020. Happy New Year again. Thanks so much for indulging me for a few minutes, and I hope yours is tremendous. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, please reach out, comment, you know, as you always do, and uh, I'll be talking to you in 2020. This is your good buddy, Head of Section Joe Darlington, saying Happy New Year once again. Have a prosperous New Year, and uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Take care.